Hello everybody, this is the Election Predictor back with another video today. This is going to be the best case scenario for Joe Biden. Um, I'm going to do a video tomorrow, which is going to be the best case scenario for Donald Trump. So, obviously Joe Biden is going to win this election. The landslide and Trump will probably win his prediction in the landslide as well. I'm going to post more future videos, um, I think, on who I'm going to pick who I think will be Joe Biden's vice presidential nominee, tracking the polls, and obviously more predictions with the Senate, governor's races, and so on. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to the safe states. California is going to be a safe state. Washington is going from likely to safe from my real election prediction, and as well as Illinois and a lot of these northeastern states. Um, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and D.C. will all be safe Democrat states. Now, safe Republican states. Um, I'm picking Utah, so long as Evan McMullen does not choose to run, which, by all accounts, he's not going to be running again. Uh, Oklahoma, down in the Deep South, and then going up through West Virginia. I left Kansas out of the safe states because a Democrat governor was elected last in the recent midterm elections, I guess in 2018, which shows it does have a little bit more blue support than I guess you could say other states. You could argue South Dakota as well, but I'm not going to go with that into depth. And Montana, I think that they have two Democrat senators, although I'm not sure about that. I know for sure John Tester is a Democrat senator. So this is... Republicans are at 80 electoral votes for their safe states. Oh, and I forgot North Dakota. And the Democrats are at 168. So obviously a big shift already. Oregon will be a likely state as well as Connecticut. Maine's first congressional district. New Mexico, Colorado, all shifting states to Democrats. And Virginia, which is a major shifting state for the Democrats. And Minnesota and Michigan. If he's going to have a landslide, he's going to take back their states. Guaranteed, and it's going to take them back by a large margin. Now, likely Republican states, Montana and Kansas, will be a likely Republican state. They'll remain in the Republican column, as well as Alaska and Missouri. Now we're going to move on to lean Democrat states. There's going to be a lot of them. We're going to have Arizona, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Florida, Maine at large, and New Hampshire are all going to be, oh, and Nevada, all going to be lean states. So these, all these states were either on Trump's side or they were tilts, um, but they're definitely going to be with Joe Biden if he's going to win this election in the landslide or the best case scenario for him. And I'm actually going to do Nebraska 2nd Congressional District as a lean Biden state. So he's already at 319 electoral votes. He's going to get more. Trump at 105. Let's see what happens. Lean for Trump is going to be South Carolina and Indiana. Those states, I, you could argue that they do have, they are slightly blue, so they could possibly, Joe Biden could possibly narrow the margin. But Trump is popular in those states, and he will carry them by the lean margin, I believe, possibly eight or nine points. Now, we'll be moving on to tilt Democrat states. So this is going to be really interesting. I'm going to go with North Carolina. Um, this is obviously if he's going to get major black turnout and other minorities. Georgia, same thing. And Texas, which is shifting blue. Um, by all accounts, better work narrowed the race to around the two-point margin against Ted Cruz. And Trump won the, the race by eight points. You could say Beto had a lot of funding and... It was a like a blue wave year, blue wave election, but it definitely did narrow up a lot since John McCain and Mitt Romney and George Bush. And he was the governor of Texas, George Bush. And I'm also going to include Ohio. I think Biden will take Ohio back if he is going to, you know, win in a landslide. Now, tilt Republican states. Iowa, I think, will remain, will remain in the Republican column. Trump is pretty popular in its state as well as Ohio, but I think Iowa is slightly more popular with Trump than Ohio is, which is why Trump won it by around one and a half more points than he did Ohio. And the second congressional district will remain 
I, I, I'm, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with that. But, I mean, you could say that you could give Joe Biden, actually, I'll say in a landslide year, I'll give Joe Biden Iowa and Maine second congressional district because you have to give him all of those states. If it's going to be the best case scenario, he's going to take back the Obama support in Iowa and Ohio and get back the Rust Belt, you know, improve on Hillary Clinton's margins in the toss-up state she won, take back Florida, and really expand because expand in Texas and expand in states that Trump won but are shifting blue. So this is how I see a, um, a Joe Biden best scenario case he will get 413 electoral votes. So now I'm just going to shift the map to just one color so you can see what the new map will look like. Here we go. Definitely looking a lot more blue than most predictions would be looking like. So Republicans area is getting smaller. It's starting to kind of get surrounded by Democrats or Democrat one states. Anyway, this is a landslide election for Joe Biden, best case scenario that he can get. This is really going to be on Trump's performance in, you know, upcoming and how Joe Biden's performance is upcoming and who he's going to pick for his vice presidential nominee. So this is how I see a Joe Biden landslide, taking back all of the states that Trump won by a very small margin. You can look at the Rust Belt, Florida, taking back a lot of the Obama states and expand to states that are shifting blue, like Texas and Georgia and Arizona. So this is how I see it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's shorter than previous videos, but I guess you don't need as much in-depth in -depth analysis for this one. Anyway, stay tuned to my videos, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.